You do not have to be educated to succeed. So you can quit beating yourself up about your lack of education. When I first started telling jokes, I made $25 a night. The first year in comedy, I made $3,000. Second year, I made $5,500. The third year, I made about $7,200. I became homeless. You make three, five, and seven. $15,000 in three years. That's how you get homeless. That's why that lady was out here, Miss Devil, talk feeding homeless people, because I was one of them. I lived in a car for three years, because I wasn't making enough money. My mother was a Sunday school teacher for 40 years when she was little. She used to always tell me, she said, God blesses you to become a blessing. Well, I didn't get it back then, because I ain't had nothing, so. He blessed me, what, what? Mama, we ain't got nothing. She said, but one day, son, you're gonna be different. I'm standing here today because I learned something. I just try to tell people some real basic stuff to succeed. You do not have to be educated to succeed. So you can quit beating yourself up about your lack of education. But guess what? I kept telling them $25 until they started paying me $250 a night. I kept telling them two hundred fifty dollars till they start making me, start paying me twenty five thousand. I kept telling them two hundred five thousand dollars till they start paying me seventy five thousand. Then I told them jokes for seventy five. Then they start paying me a hundred a quarter a night. Then I kept telling them they done paid me a half million dollars for these jokes. Without the kings of comedy, education ain't in the Bible. Harvard ain't in there. UCLA ain't in there. Now, if you want to be a doctor, lawyer, scientist, dentist, you got to go to school. We understand that. Now, if you're gifted with your hands of healing, you do that. But what about if you like me? What if you like you? What if you ain't a school person? What you going to do? Suppose you got a learning disability. Suppose you're dyslexic. Suppose you just don't get it. You know, I just didn't get math. Once you got past adding, subtraction, multiplication, and division, you lose me. I don't know. I only know what I know. We made $58 million in one year. You know what we did? We told jokes. Them the same $25 jokes. They ain't nothing but English. <laughs> ain't what like I was doing them in Spanish and no like that. I was just same fun jokes for $25. I just kept. Repetition, repetition, over and over and over. I turned them jokes into an empire. I learned to identify this gift of mine, and this gift has made room for me. Now, I've told you that, but here is the other thing. Once you identify your gift, you have got to write this information down. If you do not have a vision board, if you don't have a dream list, I am telling you, you are complicating your process to getting what you want in life. You're complicating it because you are missing, because maybe nobody ever told you. I turned them jokes into a lifestyle beyond my wildest dreams. I turned them jokes into funds. My grandkids ain't got to worry about nothing. I done put up so much with them $25 jokes. You. You are sitting on an empire. That means write exactly what you want. Don't deviate, be clear. If you want four cars, it's nothing wrong with wanting four cars. If you want three houses, you can have three houses. Why not? Why, why you can't have, why you just can't get a home? What kind of God you serve where well, he won't give you a house? It's just a house. Somebody asked me the other day, they saw my vision board. They said, man, where your dream car at? They in the driveway. Work on what you good at. If you focus on what you good at, you'll make enough money. You hire somebody to be what you ain't. I got all kind of people read numbers and contracts and all that, because I can't do it. But I hire them. Listen, man, you've got to write this information down. Let me tell you what the reason writing it down is important because it plants the information in your subconscious. I'm telling you, you have to write this information down. 
I don't care what church you go to, synagogue, temple, mosque. If you don't write it down, chances of it happening is slim. Could that be the one thing that's holding you back? If I'm telling you this, a dude with no education, I can't read a business periodical. My head exploded. I don't even know what they talking about. It's not what I do. Too many times, people have you focusing on your weaknesses. You're wasting your time. You ain't got to strengthen that. Or maybe you don't think that it applies to you, but a simple principle of success is that it has to be written down somewhere. Oprah was on TV for 30 years talking about these vision boards. Oprah, she got a billion dollars. I'm not, she has my attention. Now, like I said earlier, you don't gotta be rich to be happy. Maybe your goal is not to make a million dollars. That's cool, but maybe you just need 150,000. Maybe you just need 200,000. I learned a few scriptures that made some good sense to me. You have not cause you ask now. So you mean to tell me if I just keep asking you for it and believing it, that's one way to get it? Okay, cool. Then you tell me faith without works is dead. You're telling me if I believe in you and I'm willing to work, I should have it. But I can't believe in it and don't work and I won't get it? Okay, I understand that. And then you tell me to write the vision and make it plain? They've been marked off the vision board a long time ago. I, the vision boards work. I'm not bragging, I'm telling you how this works. You don't think I got all these TV shows, I ain't making no money now. I'm out here hustling and grinding, but I'm willing to work. You gotta write everything you want down. Now, if you want, like I said, you go to school, try to get you another degree, I don't have one. I'm telling you what I did to get here. I can do this. These are things you can do today that ain't got nothing, to, you don't need nobody's permission to succeed. To get to God, you ain't got to check with nobody. He, are, he available to you today. You ain't got to get cleared. His line ain't busy. You can talk to him right now. I do it all the time. That's how I got here. I'm telling you how you can get to where you're trying to go. Now you can go get your another education if you want to. She said, he didn't bring you this far to leave. I kept hearing her say that. You know, I could have gave up a long time ago, but I, did, I never gave up. I just kept fighting. God is gonna come through and do what he say he gonna do, but you got to give him something to work with. If you do that, God will change your whole life. If you, I dare you to try it. I dare you to take your gift and do it over and over and over. Watch what he do. The Bible says your gift will make room for you and put you in the presence of great men. Don't say nothing about your passion or your education. Your gift, if you do that, God will change your life.